This is Jennifer with Park Place Child Life Center and I have a cool lesson for you. And this is a little project that we gave um, out packets for our students to do in the community as they're in lockdown on coronavirus. So um, there's some great online lessons, but I want to do one real quick that doesn't use any hot glue. So I have this tied to a little string and it can bounce and fly around if you hang it from the wall or ceiling and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. All you're going to need today is two popsicle sticks, three beads, one pipe cleaner, and four pieces of string about two to three feet long. If you have a piece of elastic you can use that but you could always um, cut a rubber band and use that too if you wanted it to be bouncy. Now let's go ahead and get started. The trick to this lesson is going to be to tie and weave your butterfly while keeping your sticks like this. Let me make sure I got two sticks the same size. Yep. And we're going to try to keep the sticks like this as we do our weaving. I'm going to start out with the blue thread or yarn. It's just regular yarn. I recommend yarn or twine if you have it. You could use white string, that will work too. And I'm going to put this piece of blue right here in the middle. And then I'm going to cross a stick over top. And that's how I'm going to begin. Now you want to try to keep these even, and you're going to wrap. Now this part you can do pretty tight, because this is going to be what holds the whole thing together. So I'm going to tightly wrap it, and after I get that started, I'm going to start to lightly wrap towards the right. Now if you're left-handed, you can wrap towards the left. That's fine. Now as soon as I get to this V, you see the V? I'm going to begin weaving. So I'm going to go up and over and in between and under. Over, in between, under. Now you can slide these back towards the uh, middle. And what you want to do is not do it too tight. So I'm just loosely weaving this. And this is a weave. Weave is one of mankind's earliest technologies. So when they invented weaving, they could make ropes, they could make baskets, and guess what else? They could make clothes. So it's very important advancement. We don't think of things like this as technology today, but it really is. Okay, here I come. I'm to the end of the string. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blue and I'm going to try to stick it in between this um, thread here. So let me grab some scissors. And I'm just going to push it in to this... Uh, weave as far as I can and that should hold it in and there we go pretty good right now I'm going to go ahead and do the other side we will do it the same exact way so for of course I don't have to put it in the middle but I don't have to tie it or anything I just wrap it tightly and then I begin moving to the side now I'm going to go to the right again just to keep it simple and I do want to make sure that I'm holding this apart because this is where it really is easy to begin squeezing the um, sticks together. So over, under, over, under. And you can slide it as, as needed. It's not tied anywhere. It's just woven together. Once you get the hang of it, it's very simple. So even little teeny kids could do this. You might need some help from their parents. And I'll just keep going. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Now, I'm not going too tight here because I do want to stick this into the weave. And I will do it with my scissors again. Right in here to this open part. Now, if you need help with this part, now I tried it before with tying knots, and that was a little bit difficult. This is a lot easier. Once you get it, you just push it in and keep pushing. 
there we go. Keep pushing until it disappears. And there you have it. All right, we're ready for our next color. Uh, I chose pink. And this time we will try to uh, wrap it once around like this. Now, what I can do is I can leave that thread sticking out and cut it later. And now I'm just going to begin my weave. Again, not going too hard. So I'm going to keep these spread apart. And it looks like this one slipped a little bit. So I'm going to just slide it back. I'm going to push these back towards the middle. Now this one is not nearly as, um, I don't have as much room. Oh, actually, here we go. I'm coming to the end of it. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick it in the middle of the weave through here. And if you can't get it all shoved in there, it's okay. You can just cut it. It looks like it's going in just fine. This one right here I can cut now. And I can cut this extra a little bit right here. Wow, it's looking pretty good. Now when you cut away a little areas like this it's a craftsmanship that means you're trying to make sure it looks neat and well made cut that off stick that in and then we're good to go all right let's go to the next um, section I'm gonna push these back I'm gonna double twist this and I'm gonna go ahead and start weaving And make sure you don't push it too hard the other way and slide it off. Now, if you do have a hot glue gun, there's lots of great tutorials online on how to do it. And if it's glued down, it might be a little bit easier. But as you see, this isn't too bad. It um, is easy to do at home with materials you probably have laying around. Now, could you do this with regular sticks? Absolutely. Could you do it with skewers? Probably. So if you don't have popsicle sticks, number one, you could try to get your parents to give you a popsicle, which is always a good plan, or two, and then you would have them if you cleaned them off real good. So that way you could get a popsicle and do a project. And like I say, I'm sure you can find some string laying around the house. Yarn works best because it's really pretty. Now, if you have embroidery string, that might be a little bit more difficult, but for older kids, they could probably do it. It's just easier to tangle and would require a lot more wrapping. All right, so let's get rid of this little thing right here. Now, notice that I did choose a color scheme, meaning I put colors together that I wanted to match. So I got a pink one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pipe cleaner, I'm going to fold it in half, and then about um, an inch, maybe a little bit less, I'm going to twist. So now I will put this to the middle of the body and down to the twist, and then I'm going to twist the top just a couple of times. Now I'm going to take my big bead if I have one, or my bead that's a little bit different. So for me, I picked uh, this blue one, and you're going to shove it down all the way to the body. Now you see on this one, I had a wooden bead, so I drew some eyeballs on them. Now I'm going to take these two, and I'm going to shove them on the bottom. You can open this up a little bit, and that will keep them from falling off. Now for the top, we're going to take and we're going to look at this negative space in between. So 
if you see these, you, you notice that this space in between is the most important part. If you make that look good, the whole thing will look good. So I'm going to spin it together. Same thing here. And now adjust as you need. Okay, I need to get it a little bit tighter in the middle. Now these are uh, pipe cleaners, so they can move around quite easily. So you just keep going until you get it just right. All right, I like that. Now next, we can take this right here, if we have elastic or rubber band or something. And we're just going to tie it around the neck. Now, if, that, if you tie it around the neck, it will kind of bounce up and down like this. But you could tie it around the neck and around here, and then it would kind of fly this way. So it's entirely up to you. Like I say, it doesn't have to be tied to anything. It looks cute just like it is. But I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to do a double knot, which most of you know you do not want to do in your shoelaces. But for right here, you want to tie it once, and then you tie it twice. You're going to trim the extra way, and there you have it, the flying butterfly, which is a beautiful little reminder that everything changes, and we're going to make it through these hard times. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and come back and check out our other lessons as we keep moving forward. Have a great day.